My name is Dave Sweet. I'm with the East Yellowstone chapter of Trout Unlimited. Uh, th that group is also a part of a bigger group called the Willwood Working Group Number no. Three, and we're out here for the last several days and probably a couple more days uh, doing some test plots out on a, uh, an old bentonite mine that was uh, closed in about 1990, somewhere in that neighborhood. And uh, of course it was reclaimed at that time to industry standards at that time, which were very lax. And it, if you look around, you can see it looks nothing like the surrounding area. The surrounding area's got grass cover and, and sagebrush, and this is basically just a little bit of silt and rock. Uh, the Willwood Working Group is interested, as is Trout Unlimited, because this is one of many, many sediment sources that drain sediment down into the lower Shoshone River and ultimately down uh, to above Willwood Dam. Um, so we're trying to come up with a way to reclaim this piece of property. There's about 10 acres here. We're actually studying about three quarters of an acre to try to determine the best way to reclaim this land so that it's back to, to native grasses and forbs and plants. Um, We've set up a number of test plots uh, across the, this slope and we're treating them with various methods uh, to aid in native grass, forb, and sagebrush growth. Uh, different nutrients, not really fertilizers, but uh, uh, mycorrhizal fungus, for example, and triticale, which is a sterile wheat and rye uh, hybrid. Uh, and then we've got in place, just like here in front of us and across this slope, uh, erosion control blankets. Uh, that are stopping the erosion or at least slowing down the erosion off this slope and we hope to to get grass seed growing and what you see on top of that grass seed that we've sown a uh, mixture of grass seeds by the way is mulch and mulch just simply holds the seed to the soil and gives it an opportunity to germinate um, some people wonder well really how significant is this I mean this is an old bent night mine can it really contribute much much sediment. A perched rock is simply a rock that when this old bentonite mine was reclaimed, uh, again about 30 years ago, this rock was at the surface of the soils or maybe even below the surface of the soil, but over time uh, erosion has come down through here and washed the silt and the sediment from underneath and around that rock and left a pillar that the rock is now sitting on top of. So it gives you an idea that at one time the ground was way up here, maybe even higher than that. But it's all washed away down into this draw uh, off to the east here. And from there it, it uh, channels down into Sulphur Creek, which um, most people around Cody will recognize, Cody Powell, as uh, one of the upper tributaries into the lower Shoshone that oftentimes runs pretty silty. And this is just one of those sources of silt. 